What is more cool on a wonderful on a cool autumn evening than a bowl of homemade soup? Joining us in the KC Live Kitchen this morning is Chef Joe Shirley from Uberdine Restaurant. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right, I love soup this time of year. So what, what makes it special? Uh, just that warm feeling mm -hmm. that you have deep inside, and that's kind of what we try to do at Uberdine is evoke feelings of uh, sensory memories and oh, I love uh, that. just try to keep it creative and fresh. Let's get started. Where, right. we, where do we start? Okay, first thing I like to do, we're going to roast our butternut squash. Mm -hmm. So you need a very sharp knife to do this. Okay. But you just want to come through just like that, All and right. then we're going to scrape the seeds out mm -hmm. with a spoon here. Get rid of those seeds. Yeah, and I like to wrap my sheet tray with foil so okay. I can keep from making a mess. And I just put a little bit of oil down, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt. Oh, you put salt actually on yeah. the foil, okay. Yeah, sure. And then we'll put this in the oven, okay. 45 minutes, hour, until the neck portion is soft. So you can feel it right there when it's soft. Okay, you know about an hour. Ready. Okay, I like that. And there you and of go. Of course, Pull with out the... the magic of television, I have <laughs> some go. done already. We're going to go ahead and start our actual soup. So it's really simple. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some yellow onion. Okay. You already chopped those up? Yeah. And I, what I love about puree soups is mm -hmm. that you can kind of cut everything however. You mm -hmm. can rough chop it because we're going to put it doesn't in the blender. Matter. So it doesn't right. matter, right? Okay. So now we've got our baked squash. Roasted squash. Roasted. Yeah. Roasted. Sorry. Come on, roasted. Come on. <laughs> all right, we've You're got our we've me. got our onions. I'm not working. the expert here. We so, all know that in the kitchen. Okay, I'm not the expert. Okay, <laughs> we're doing a technique called sweating. So we're going right. to cook over medium medium low temperature, and we're going to cook that till it's translucent and soft. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to pretend some more okay. that that is done right now. Perfect. So we're going to add a little garlic, mm -hmm. and this is Chinese five spice. Now, where can you find that? Uh, grocery store. Grocery store. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of flavor does it add? A uh, little ginger, a little mm -hmm. black pepper, um, cinnamon. Ooh, so okay. it's it just kind of great. like a pumpkin pie spice mm -hmm. on steroids. So it's kind okay, of a little you, well, different. Well, there you go. Um, a lot of people make butternut squash soup real sweet. I do it kind of mm -hmm. savory, and then as you'll see, we've got a lot of garnishes over here, so you can make, kind of customize and make it sweet, make it uh, Italian. You know, you can do some different things. Make and, it fix your palate. Yeah, and you right? can have a soup party, and people get to customize their oh, own soup. Oh, okay, I like that. So at this point, we're going to add chicken stock, mm -hmm. and you could use veggie stock if you mm -hmm. wanted to be vegetarian. There you go. You know, you can make the chicken stock, or you can use store-bought, like mm -hmm. I did here. A little bit of heavy cream. Now, if you want to make a healthier version of this soup, could you do some skim milk? or do You, you could just do stock. Just do stock, yeah, okay. Yeah, and it, it won't be as creamy, and it'll mm -hmm. change the color a little bit, but... Mm -hmm. Still tastes good? Yeah. Okay. Still delicious. Now, with our roasted... <laughs> yeah, roasted squash. <laughs> roasted squash over here. So there we go, hot looks. Obviously, you want to let this cool mm -hmm. a bit before you handle it, but then you can just take a little spoon and it'll just okay. scrape right out. So, oh, easy so enough. We're walk over to our soup. And you want to keep the skin out, but okay. just kind of use the tip of your spoon and. Perfect. And you want yeah, nice and soft. Just like that. Yeah. There you go. And that obviously adds some great flavor to it. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, kind of develops the natural mm -hmm. sweetness. And that's why I don't add any sugar to the soup, because it's inherently sweet. So uh, we kind of go savory with it, the chicken, mm -hmm. and then uh, we put a little salt. Now, you talked about adding toppings to this to make it your own. After you puree the soup, when you're done, mm -hmm. put it in third in blender, um, what do you do to, to customize it and make it your own? Well, I, uh, you can even raid the refrigerator for leftovers. Mm -hmm. I've got some curry chicken salad there. Uh, it's from a lunch. And then, okay. you know, pomegranate seeds. We've got toasted almonds, apples, cranberries, you know, you name it. You know, whatever you like. I did some uh, brown sugar crumble that would be like for a dessert. Oh, okay, that's nice. So like you said, left, leftovers and yeah. here we go. Add some up. Fantastic. So if you're looking for a little dining adventure, uh, the Uber Dine holiday theme yes. dinner will take place December 20th through the 22nd at the highly super secret locale. Give us get any, any, no, it's very secretive. Very it's in secretive. Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> there you go. Okay, yeah. there's, there's your secret. Okay. <laughs> um, dinner is served at 6 and at 9 o'clock. The costs run $80 per person plus tax and tip. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you Amazing. for having me. I can't wait to sample your soup. Thanks so much. All right, let's toss things over to Michael.